Hey everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique. Hi, how are all of you? People keep asking me the same thing. And you know what? It's October. Yes, yes, it's October. I love October. I love all the fun stuff to do in October. I love how Michigan looks in October. It's awesome. So today I'm going to show you how to make emojis. Yes. Emojis are super, super fun for your members. I mean, who doesn't love an emoji? Come on along with me and I'll show you how to create your own emojis for yourself, for your channel, for you, for you. Super simple. You wouldn't believe how simple it is. And it's free. It is all okay hi everybody so i have this idea to make some emojis today i thought i'd brighten up my day with some fun stuff and here i am in canva and this is at canva.com you can use canva for free and you can also upgrade to use all their things and as you can see here there are a lot of different things that you can use however today we're going to create some custom emojis for YouTube so your members can use emojis and have super fun, right? Let's have some fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a custom size. Click custom size. Now for emojis, they need to be pretty small. So just keep that in mind. They're very, very small. I wish they were bigger. So I'm going to go 40 by 40 pixels and I'm going to go create a new design right here. Now I'm going to go to elements because you can see your square here. If you can hear my dog, sorry, she's a corgi. What can I say? You can always hear her. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go to elements. Now, Halloween is coming up. It's October, so I'm thinking fall. I'm thinking October. So let's put October in and see what pops up. I'm going to go to graphics here, and remember you want to keep it really small. So I thought I would just play around and make some really cute emojis today. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. So I'm going to make a bunch of emojis for my members today. And we're going to want it to be as big as we can get it because everything is very small. Everything is small. So I am just going to get it as big as I can. There, that's super cute. I like that one. That will really show up well. Now, if you want to put a background in, you can put a background in too. Um, say you want to use this one or something. You would just size it, just for instance. And then to change the position, like if you wanted a background, you would just go position and then layers here. And here's the background. You just move it. This one's white, so you're not going to see it. But... It is an option. I'm going to delete that one, though. Okay, so that's what we did there. And now we are going to hit the, the save here and then download. When you hit download, for me, I'm going to have a transparent background. So I'm going to click this, download. If you have a background, do not click the transparent. You can save this as a PNG or you can save this as a JPEG. That's cute. I think I'm going to try another one. Let's try a couple of them here. Oh, pumpkin spice latte. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did over there. And I just want to have it very... Okay. 
download. And you can adjust things here. You can adjust things. There's auto adjust. Uh, if you want to go back, you just push the back button. And you can kind of use it that way. I'm just going to adjust it just a tad, and then I'm going to save this. Transparent background download. A lot of different things to use here. Just remember it should be very small. You know, if it's round or square, that will fit up that area well, where like this one won't so much and you might not see it. If that makes sense. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. So here are some words. Trick or treat. Um, and so I think what I'm going to do. Now I kind of want this background to be a little spookier. So I think I might make it black. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to move this down just a bit. Center it pretty good. Okay, so that is my trick or treat. We are going to save this. And this time I do not want a transparent background. So I do not want that. And we will download this. Okay, so we are going to go back to white. Let's just go back to white. Okay, and I really want a cute ghost. Let's put ghost cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at these cute little ghosts. I kind of want a white background. This one's going to be very simple. Okay, I like this one. This one's simple, right? Just real simple. You know, we can turn him a little bit to make him look like he's flying a little bit. Boop! How about that? How's that one look? Let's make him as big as we can get him here. Cute. Okay, that's darling. And I'm going to save him. I want a transparent background on here. Oh my goodness, I just put Ghost Corgi, and this is what I have. Oh my goodness, look at all these cute little babies. Oh my word. I love my dog so much, so much. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at all the doggies you can use here. Let's see, let's do fall. Let's see if they have a fall corgi. Oh, they got a pumpkin corgi. The less detail, the better on here too, because, you know, it's going to be so small. Uh, although these are super cute, right? These are super cute. Super, super cute. This one I think is adorable. I think that's what she needs to be for Halloween is a, a little corgi mommy. Look at that. I think that's perfect. I'm going to save that little cute guy. Transparent background. Okay, now let's type in Halloween just to get some ideas. You know, you can add some different wordage in there to see what you can find. <laughs> I think every Halloween needs a creepy spider, but this one's kind of cute, so I can handle this one. Okay, if they're cute, we can do it. We can do it, because he has to be cute. Has to be a cute spider. We're going to make him as big as possible again. There we go. That looks good to me. You know, I just kind of think, too, when you're doing this, like, what do people talk about? This is kind of funny just because, 
you know, if somebody's making like a stupid remark, you can be like, zombie hand. <laughs> right? Right? Zombie hand. I'm going to give you the zombie hand. Okay, and then I have a cute little kitty, and he's an orange kitty. Let's find something that he might be. Okay, so this one's got that. We need something cute. And let's see here. We need something cute for the orange kitty cat. Kitty Cat Halloween. Okay, I let's see here. I'm going to choose this one just because he's so cute. Look at that. I'm going to try to make him as big as we can. So now we're going to go over to YouTube, and this is if you're actually, like, at least partially monetized. Okay, so you're going to go up here to your icon, and you're going to go to your studio. Okay, and then you're just going to go to earn. And then you're going to go to your memberships. You're going to go over here to your member, your memberships offer right here on this side, okay? And you're going to go to customize default perks. This is badges and we're going to go down to emojis. Okay, so here we are at emojis. Now, some people use the dark theme, and some people don't. I don't I don't like it dark. So, and here are my current emojis for my members. I have a scary spider that doesn't look so scary. Okay, so we're going to go in here, and I'm just going to replace a couple that I have. And we're going to use the trick or treat trick. We are going to do... I'm going to replace this one with something more current. How about the latte? The pumpkin spice. Spice latte. Um, we're going to replace the dog. Replace image. Or you can add image too. And we're just going to do the cat for now. Okay, so we've got a couple new ones there. And what you're going to do... So now these are really great, and YouTube does give you free memberships every month that you can add. So save and publish. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Yay! So now when you go back in here and you go to emojis, there are some new emojis here. I mean, how fun! Trick or treat! And when you use that transparent background, you don't get, like, squares, especially if you're on a dark theme. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely take time to make your members feel special. Do something fun. It brings them back. Okay, I just want to show you where to add the members for free. And you go down here on your laptop or computer gifting membership and then you can give 10 away so i just gave five so there's another five you hit that and that will give your freebies away for the month and you can have some more members yay so i hope you all enjoyed this and i hope you learned something new have an awesome day everybody bye